guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and agreeing to episode 6 of season 3 of Blue Exorcist. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1. Oh. And the easel probably told her mom, suck it up. You know, I always thought that she was not like this as a child, but yeah, no, she's been like this as a kid. Oh my God. <laughs> Ismo. I'm just gonna say the snow the stone kinda looked like a snake wrapped up, but okay.
That's sweet. Uh oh. There's that bastard. Well, we know that's not good because of the fact that they're coming to ask about it. On the mark, baby. That's a good kid. <laughs> Damn.
the saliva. Hold up, that's not something you say in front of kids. What the heck is wrong with you? I'm kind of capacity. Like, oh, she called him. <laughs> She said, I'm murdering everybody tonight. Don't open that. See, why are kids curious? Don't open it! Don't say it's her fault. It's not their fault. It, you were the one wanting him to meet kids. You were doing everything with him too fast. she had no choice but to call the Illuminati. But still, not only did y'all protect them, you used them as puppets as well. Once the mom was no longer useful, you went down the line. So they were never really safe.
flourishing. What did you do? I'm guessing she gonna die. Yeah, see, I'll be back soon. Nope. Oh, she never coming back. Come on now. I would have just took her right then and there. Damn. I don't know. I think he might still inject her, though. Damn it.
this was too effing much. I mean, this this was a dark ass episode. I mean, I, okay, with the lady who she called. I mean, it was very obvious that she was going to die because I mean, the signs were there. It was there. You knew that she was not going to make it out of it. We were not going to get a happy ending with her. But at least she got her younger sister out. But the, at the same time is now that we know. See, if I rewatch from season one, it's going to make me like question. I'm still questioning everything now. But oh God, she, she's got to be like the saddest character. She's up there with like my babies and. This was depressing as fuck. Oh my god. I was, I felt so bad for her. First her mom blaming her and her sister, but really it's the mom's fault for over asking him, oh hey, can you meet the kids? And he, he even said to her, if you continuously ask me to meet the kids, I'm going to get tired of being around you. And really, okay, here's my thing. Especially if you are dating someone and they have a kid, that shouldn't be a fucking issue. Whether they are like younger, older, whatever, that should not be a motherfucking issue. And yet some guys, girls too, women do do it too, um, they make it an issue and, and such. It's just about when, um, it's just a lot of red flags for people who are like, I'm not ready to meet kids. But I do like it when guys or you know, men or women, um, especially when you're dating someone, and let's say you do have a kid and they really want to meet your kid and such. But you're you're a little hesitant on it. So it's just like, uh, you know, I think if she would have, one, stopped mentioning the kids and stuff, maybe, you know, the situation possibly would have been different. But it's a big old what if. We'll never know. But I, I just... Ismo has the saddest storyline as of right now. Like, Jesus Christ. Because I was not expecting all of that to... This was some emotional damage, baggage, everything all in one in this episode. And I was, like, not prepared for all of that. I mean, dang. We should have had a warning with this episode. Like, hey... A lot of things are going to happen. Like, you ready for it? But regardless, I'm never ready for an episode of any series that I watch. But it was still good. But I do get the fact where... Excuse me. Um, She doesn't want to trust anybody after this. Because, I mean, I think if you were in her same shoes, I don't think I could be able to trust anyone. Man, woman, woman, whoever. After that situation, I just know I'll be like, I'm gonna kill every single one of y'all motherfuckers, but y'all not looking. And, and that's exactly what she's gonna do. So when she does kill them, that's gonna be the greatest day of her life. And I'm gonna be there rooting her on. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode six of season three of Blue Exorcist. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode seven. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.